they certainly made the grade, you know, to, to be part of the, you know, part of the book. Just interested, uh, why wasn't I in there? You're not really that good of a fly tire. So. Cut! Cut! Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshig, a Mad River Outfitters and Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and welcome back to another one of our book reviews. And today, we have a very special guest, our very good friend, Mr. Jerry Darkus, who is the author of Essential Flies for the Great Lakes Region, which has been out now for uh, a little over two months. Two months? Yep. Um, you've heard me talk about this book already. You've seen it uh, on our website, on social media. Uh, but we had the opportunity. In fact, uh, the Jerry, this is Jerry's first time here in our new shop. Right. Of course, uh, I haven't seen him as much um, due to 2020 <laughs> in itself. Um, but Jerry, this is a serious, serious contribution to uh, the history and uh, the magnitude of the, the fly patterns and the fly tires that exist here in the Great Lakes region. What, uh, I mean, what was your inspiration to, to write the book? You know, uh, well, first of all, I'm, you know, I'm interested in history in general about a lot of things, mm -hmm. and certainly, you know, fly fishing flows through my veins. Yes. Uh, but, you know, looking back at the history of the sport, once you left really the Catskill area in New York, really the next focus uh, where the sport really started to expand and develop was, was in the Great Lakes and specifically mainly in, in Michigan. Mm -hmm. You know, when we look in the late 1800s, going into the early 1900s and even up until really the 1960s and a little bit later. Uh, you know, the Great Lakes region uh, in various places, uh, but Michigan in particular was, was just very instrumental in, in the expansion and development of the sport. I, I was really blown away at, at a lot of the history that, that, yeah. that you have in here. I mean, yeah. goodness gracious, I mean, this is, how long did this take you to put this together? Well, it had a number of starts and stops, but the overall project took about five years. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there is just tons of information uh, and tons of history of the flies themselves, history of the tires. Um, this is truly one of the most comprehensive works that I've seen in a long time. And it's certainly, there's never been anything done like this specifically for the Great Lakes region. Yeah, and uh, Brian, not that I'm aware of, certainly not in, in the, you know, as extensive as that and even in as much detail. But, you know, what I really wanted to do uh, was really just, I guess, give the Great Lakes its due, give the Midwest its due, yeah. uh, as far as, you know, what the con contributions that, you know, we've made to fly fishing and fly tying uh, over the years. I mean, some of the, the key tying techniques, parachute flies, uh, you know, things like that, that, that developed here. You know, certainly some of our mainstay patterns, like the Adams, Griffiths Nat, the Muddler Minnow, uh, you know, uh, Zoo Cougar. I mean, you can just go down the list and it just goes on and on and on. And this whole thing was not supposed to be as big as it, as it, as it you know, became, but every time I started researching things, you know, another layer got peeled mm -hmm. off. And I found out more and more and more, and it, it just reached a point where, okay, this is, this could get totally out of hand and and you know I, I had to put a stopping point on it but it still ended up with like 600 patterns in it yeah uh, uh, yeah 600 crazy. patterns and it's uh 249 250 pages and i turned right to our good friend brian mazeros yep. um, um you could go down the list uh um of of the kelly gallup came from the great lakes region sure. you've got ray schmidt kevin feenstra um, uh, Walt Grau, uh, Gary Borger, you know, uh, I mean, and a lot of more regionally known guys like, you know, uh, Alex Lafkus and, mm -hmm. you know, Jerry Reagan, Russ Madden, you know, so I, I tried to cover as many of the significant tires as I could have, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of, you know, like, uh, fairly, uh, you know, unknown people in, in here too, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I wanted to give representation of things that I thought were really interesting, uh, as well as, you know, day-to-day -day type things. Yeah. But, 
uh, I just tried to cover things as thoroughly as I could. Well, it's, it's an exceptional, exceptional piece of work. Uh, it's been selling very well here in the shop. Um, and, uh, you know, we're really glad to, to be able to have you here today and share this. Um, but you've got the, uh, you know, you've got the pattern recipes, you've got color plates, you've got, um, uh, and, and the other thing I like about it too is that it's obviously not just a trout book. I mean, here in the Great Lakes, the diversity right. of the species and the, um, just, it's, it's unbelievable what we have as uh, folks that have read your book, The Inland Oceans, as well, your other book, um, which is also a great contribution to the Great Lakes. Um, they know of the diversity uh, that we have here in the Great Lakes. So, Yeah, so p kind of the idea was to really build off of that Inland Oceans book and then take it inland. Yeah. You know, because there's so, as you say, there's so much more or, you know, out, out there, you know, as far as inland fishing and, and stuff, too, that we have here. And it's all compressed into a relatively small geographic area. Right. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of places where you could, uh, you know, fish a hatch in the morning, uh, go catch some smallmouth somewhere, and then go and get a spinner fall in the evening. Yeah. You know, and there's places around the Great Lakes where you can do that. Absolutely. You know, in mix mixed species like that. And that's, that's what makes this area, I think, so much fun. Yeah. Well, it's, I, I like what you say about giving the Great Lakes its due. It's like you hear, it's always the Catskills or Pennsylvania, and then you might go to Montana, and that's where people think that fly fishing lives in this country, and the Great Lakes is, uh, and of course, we're a little bit biased, but I, I, sure. think, I think this is the true epicenter of fly fishing, not trout fishing, fly fishing. Right, and I, I, and I would agree with you. you know, and, then, and there's Pennsylvanias in there, New York's in there, mm -hmm. so every, every state, that borders the Great Lakes, as well as province of Ontario, are represented in there. Yeah. Well, uh, folks are always uh, chiming in and asking how they uh, learn the recipes of flies. And <laughs> I, like you, will always say, hey, when I was a kid, uh, I bought books. Right. And that's where we, where we got them. And so here you go. Uh, anybody interested in tying flies for the Great Lakes region, this is the resource. So I just happened to notice um, uh, this is really cool. Uh, our own Ryan Ratliff and Pat Kelly. In fact, Pat Kelly has a whole section in here. Yep. Um, yep. That's pretty awesome. We appreciate it. Just yep. They're both great tires, innovative, you know, so they, they certainly made the grade, you know, to, to be part of the, you know, part of the book. Just interested, uh, why wasn't I in there? You're not really that good of a fly tire. Cut! So. Cut! So, um, despite our differences, uh, we're really thrilled that this book features Ryan Ratliff, Pat Kelly, and so many other great fly tires and friends here throughout the Great Lakes region. So there you have it, friends, in all seriousness. Essential Flies for the Great Lakes Region by Jerry Darkus, who's been a friend and a partner here of Mad River Outfitters for getting close to 30 years. Yeah, yeah. starting to get there. Yeah. Yep. yeah, so it's been a long time that, you know, we've worked together on stuff and, and that. Uh, you know, another thing I want to point out about the book is, yeah, it's, it's focused on the Great Lakes, but, you know, the flies that are in there, you know, they're going to work wherever you fly fish, so uh, anybody that really fly fishes in freshwater at all, you know, trout, smallmouth, big predators, doesn't really matter. I think anybody will find something in that book that will help them out. No, if you, and not only for people from the Great Lakes, this is one of the best resources to come down the pike in years. Uh, for fly tires and people that are looking to learn more and to get pattern recipes. So as always friends, we appreciate you being here. You can find the book at madriveroutfitters.com. Be sure to subscribe. It's free and that way you won't miss an episode. And hit that like button. We need to make Jerry feel good. <laughs> and, and we appreciate you being here. So stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming at you. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.